agitation in dementia for the nurse practitioner. The module agitation in dementia for the nurse practitioner represents one module in the online education series, dementia and neuropsychiatric syndromes designed especially for advanced practice nurses and formal and informal caregivers who are providing care for persons living with dementia. Welcome to the education module, Agitation and Dementia. In this module and throughout the series, the term persons living with dementia will be used to emphasize that dementia is a diagnosis and does not define an individual. Dementia is a highly stigmatized disease process. The term persons living with dementia is used to promote positive language and a more person-centered approach. The purpose of this module is to discuss neuro, the neuropsychiatric syndrome of agitation. Almost all persons living with dementia will experience neuropsychiatric symptoms. Persons living with dementia commonly experience agitation. Agitation is a subjective term and is often communicated inappropriately by caregivers and clinicians. The term to describe neuropsychiatric syndromes are associated with stigma. Terminology used to describe neuropsychiatric symptoms often vary. To decrease stigma, there have been many attempts to standardize terminology for neuropsychiatric syndromes. Behavioral disturbances was one of the first terms used to describe neuropsychiatric syndromes. Behavioral disturbance can be found in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders. Behavioral disturbance is a broad term that could include symptoms of agitation. Historically, the International Psychogeriatrics Association has been involved in standardizing terminology. At this time, behavioral and psychological symptoms of dementia is the accepted terminology. The International Psychogeriatrics Association Consensus Group categorized behavioral disturbance as behavioral and psychological symptoms. The change in terminology is described this way. The term behavioral disturbances should be replaced by the term behavioral and psychological symptoms of dementia, or BPSD, defined as symptoms of disturbed perceptions, thought content, mood, or behavior that frequently occur in patients with dementia. In everyday practice, the terms behaviors, agitation, and aggression are often used to describe general symptoms of persons living with dementia. These terms have many interpretations and are used to describe multiple overlapping symptoms. The severity of dementia often correlates with these symptoms. The Cohen-Mansfield inventory is used by researchers to evaluate behavioral and psychological symptoms of dementia. The tool categorizes BPSD into verbal or physical aggression. In 1999, the scale for observation of agitation in persons with dementia of the Alzheimer's type was developed to measure symptoms of agitation. In 2015, the International Psychogeriatric Association again stepped in to oper operationalize terminology for agitation. The agitation definition work group standardized the term agitation as one, occurring in patients with cognitive impairment or dementia syndrome. Two, exhibiting behavior consistent with emotional distress. Three, manifesting excessive motor activity, verbal aggression or physical aggression. And four, evidencing behaviors that cause excess disability and are not solely attributable to another disorder, either psychiatric, medical, or substance related. Although there was an attempt to operationalize the definition of agitation, perhaps stigma is not eradicated. The work group proposed that the definition continues to evolve and may be addended in the future. Terms such as distress, verbal symptoms, physical symptoms, or psychological symptoms are appropriate. Clear communication between advanced practice nurses, 
families, patients, and other providers is very important. The broad term agitation that is often communicated to advanced practice registered nurses indicates, indicates that these, there are symptoms, but not, does not indicate the type of symptoms. The broad term agitation that is often communicated to advanced practice registered nurses indicates there are symptoms, but does not indicate the type of symptoms. When assessing behavioral and psychological symptoms of dementia, it is important to know if the symptoms described as agitation are verbal or physical in order to determine the appropriate treatment. Clear communication about symptoms of agitation between healthcare professionals and persons living with dementia is important. Specific descriptions of symptoms that provide insight into the etiology of agitation is critical. Rarely is agitation due to only one symptom. The advanced practice registered nurse must know the possible underlying cause for agitation, which may be due to hallucinations, delusions, anxiety, depression, or symptom clusters. It is important for the APRN to know if the symptoms occur gradually, abruptly, or if there is any pattern or consistent time of day when they occur. One study of five nursing homes used an assessment tool, the Psychological Background Assessment Recommendation Interprofessional Communication Tool, or the PBAR ICT. The PBAR ICT is similar to S. SBAR, but contributes communications specific to neuropsychiatric symptoms of dementia. One aim of the study was to standardize and clearly communicate terms for neuropsychiatric symptoms. Results showed that after using the PBAR ICT, persons living with dementia and neuropsychiatric symptoms experienced successful decreases and discontinued antipsychotic medications post protocol implementation. The differential diagnosis of neuropsychiatric symptoms of dementia includes determining the underlying cause versus disease progression. A urinary tract infection is a common cause of symptoms of agitation. Medication side effects, pain, constipation, sleep deprivation, heart failure, changes in environment, changes in caregivers, bereavement, mental health conditions, and loneliness are only a few of the considerations before arriving at a diagnosis of disease progression in dementia. Neuropsychiatric symptoms may be a signal of progression and severity of the disease process. The priority for the APRN is to determine if there is an underlying physical or mental condition. For persons living with dementia, Prevention is the first line consideration in the treatment and management of neuropsychiatric symptoms. Non-pharmacological interventions are first line treatment. Early treatment of underlying causes of agitation can prevent neuropsychiatric symptoms. Exercise is an effective intervention. And even if it is only walking to the table for meals, it is effective. Cognitive behavioral therapy, as well as music, simulated presence, with video or audio tapings from family, aromatherapy or PET therapy can be used. Other than antibiotics or other pharmacological therapies to treat underlying cause, causes, pharmalo pharmacological interventions for agitation is the last resort. Other than antibiotics or other pharmacological therapies to treat underlying causes, pharmacological treatment for agitation is a last resort. Benzodiazepines, Antipsychotic medications and sedatives result in significant adverse side effects in persons living with dementia. Recognizing the underlying cause provides more options and avoids unnecessary hospitalizations. Anticholinesterase inhibitors are effective in placing dementia into remission and may have an effect on neuropsychiatric symptoms associated with the disease process. Treatment promotes optimal quality of life for the person living with dementia and for caregivers. In summary, neuropsychiatric symptoms of agitation are common in persons living with dementia. Symptoms of agitation present atypically, especially when persons living with dementia may not verbally express emotional distress. 
there are many, many overlapping symptoms of chronic illness and dementia that may overshadow neuropsychiatric symptoms. Early detection, treatment, and management of neuropsychiatric symptoms improves quality of life for both persons living with dementia and caregivers. Advanced practice nurses who want to know more about neuropsychiatric syndromes of dementia are encouraged to participate in the Dementia and Neuropsychiatric Syndrome series. Thank you.